show. What? <laughs> Welcome to another video of potato chips. No, that was too serious. Welcome to another video of potato chips starting baby Coda. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, I really don't have any content today because the exciting thing, babe and I are finally going to go on a one 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 day vacation. I don't give a fuck if it's just one day. <laughs> weekend. So might as well. Um, We're going to go down to Sioux Falls, which is about two hours away from where we live. Because where we live, it's just a really small town. So we're going to go into the city. We're going to stay there for the night. We're going to actually stay there Friday and leave Saturday. But I don't know what time we're leaving on Saturday. Because we're leaving Friday at 12. We get there by like 2 or 3. We get the hotel room. And then we go and go go. We're gonna go shopping because we're gonna go shopping for winter clothes. I don't have any winter clothes. I did, but girl, it didn't cover my ass at all last year when I was here. Because there's hella snow that falls to where we live. And honestly, what scares me is that to me, I thought it was hella snow. But when I hear residents and they're like, that's nothing compared to how we had back then. And some of them keep saying like, this year, this coming year or not this coming year because we're already this year but they're saying like the couple of months there's coming soon when it snows it's gonna snow a lot and that kind of scares me i don't live far from my work so if i don't have to drive i'm probably gonna have to go down walking it's like three maybe around five minutes to get there walking walking because i get there in like three minutes driving but if i walk hella fast then i'll get there but obviously no because my dumbass is gonna whoop and that actually happened to me last year at work i was starting work and obviously i didn't know how to walk in snow i still don't okay honeys i don't know how to walk in snow but who was oh it was my dad-in-law he was leaving me at work because i didn't have a car at this time he was leaving me at work coda get down he was leaving me at work and when i was getting off bruh he said that he did he just turned around he saw me open the door he turned around and i wasn't there anymore because my pendeja is down el piso i slipped with the ice on the parking lot and bas, me caí para atrás. i fell to the back so yeah i mean and i don't know how the fuck my manager saw that i swear to god i swear i i thought nobody was at work i you know because there's no cameras at work and the windows were they're closed because they're where the doctors said but oh my god i don't know how she saw that shit but later on throughout the day she's like hey so i'm gonna need you to sign a what is that word called fuck workers comp she told me to sign a workers comp because she said she saw me that i fell in the parking lot in the morning and i was like well i feel fine like don't worry about it yeah right i got home and there was a huge ass bruise on my back but i mean it is what it is it didn't hurt that much after and i really didn't feel the bruise so i was pretty surprised i'm like they're gonna say oh yeah since i don't have so much content like i said for this video i did make two small clips last week one of them is a skincare routine and the products are from dollar tree it's a three-step face mask and it's really nice like it leaves your face really refreshing guys even though they're dollar tree products sometimes the skincare routine from there i mean my face is really you can you can tell but also because i'm wearing makeup from mary Kay. i'm wearing i think i showed it in my previous video but yeah mary Kay never disappoints guys it i love it it is the best but also um hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and i almost forgot the second little clip is about making donuts with biscuit dough that was a complete no for me, but guys, I am not a cook, okay? When I moved, when I was in Texas, I never really cooked. The one that cooked was my sister, and I always cleaned, okay? 50-50s. But when I moved in with my boyfriend, the one that would cook for us was his mom because we lived with him. <clears throat> so, I mean, damn, her food was bomb as fuck. But yeah, she was the one that was cooking. I sometimes cooked, not really, but... And, his mom would teach me, you know, some recipes. But yeah. And then when we got our own house. Oh no, I was thinking to myself. Who's going to cook for me and him? Nobody, obviously. And we're not going to keep buying fast food restaurants all the time. So I just 
told myself, fuck it, there is Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, I don't know, Google that will give you all these recipes. Just follow it step by step and trust me, the food will taste somewhat. But these donuts um, made by Biscuit though, totally... I don't know what I did wrong. I mean, I followed the steps from this girl on YouTube. She said 360 for like five minutes but you know those five minutes toasted them so hard that dios mio i gave one to my boyfriend right and i don't know if he didn't want to hurt my feelings but i know deep down those donuts were disgusting i gave it to him and it was hard it was hard to buy guys because i was i even told myself what the fuck did i just make i followed these fucking instructions and i don't know so I don't know if it was because it was the dough or if I had to do it homemade. But then I had to make see a YouTube video about how to make homemade dough, you know, because I don't know how to do that. I mean, I'm learning little by little. I already mastered my rice. It took me a while. We're almost a year living in the house that we got. So, yeah, it, it took me a while to master that rice. It kind of tastes like my mom's, but I feel like I made it my own little way. And I'm just glad that my boyfriend likes it. But, yeah. you pretty deep no, I cut you pretty deep. maybe i should think before i talk i get emotional and words come out all wrong sometimes i'm more honest than i want so maybe i should think before maybe next time i think before i know that i should think before i speak because i'm saying things that Okay guys, so this is step one. It says gently tear open packet and empty continents into your hand. Apply to wet face, but I honestly forgot to wet mine. Anyways, gently massage with your fingers for 60 seconds and avoid contact with mouth and eyes. But when you're applying your content to your face, you're only going to be using your middle finger and your ring finger because those two are soft to touch and won't damage your skin. Also, when you're applying your continents, you always want to do it upwards, out, the way I'm doing it, up and to the outside. So this one basically is going to start sizzling on my face and you'll get to see it more puffier throughout the video. So then I feel like I had to add a little bit more to my right side of the face, but then it started to hurt my eyes, as you can tell. Then after waiting your 60 seconds, you're just going to go rinse your face and pat your face dry. Alright, now we're going into step 2. Step 2 is apply to face circular upward strokes. Avoid contact with mouth and eyes. And this one you do not rinse. 
P.S. guys, these packets were damn hard to open, so make sure you guys have your scissors with you. And my dumbass again dropped some serum on the floor, but I was able to grab some on my hand. And this one also, you're only using your middle finger and your ring finger. And remember, we're not rinsing the serum. So step three, we're just going to gently to open packet, remove mask, carefully unfold and place on face. Smooth out and smooth out and fold or wrinkles. Leave out for like 10 or 20 minutes. But guys, I only do it for like 10 minutes because I feel like 20 minutes is a little too much for me. And this one, you do not rinse. And yes, step three, I did have to use my scissors because I couldn't open this bitch up. Is she the one? The one you've been waiting for? Is she the one? Is she the one? The one you've been dreaming of, is she the one? I'm tired of staying up all night with you on my mind Still I'm laying here, yeah I'm laying in the shirt you used to like No, I shouldn't mind All I think about is, does she move your body like I moved your body? Cause I wanna know, yeah I wanna know does she make you feel wanted? Is she all you wanted? Cause I wanna know, yeah, I wanna know. I want to know. Okay, so now my 10 minutes are up and I took off this mask and guys, it was hella refreshing. For being a Dollar Tree product, I would totally go for it. So I'm gonna do something super crazy right now. I didn't think my boyfriend was gonna let me, but there's this trend going on on TikTok that said to make it official that you're your man's number one and only number one, go write your name on his car. So guess what? Your girl about to go do that on the Nalias de Maro. So let's go. So this is baby's Camaro. This was literally one of his dream cars and he was finally able to get it. When did we get it? I think, oh, in December for Christmas. This past Christmas that just happened. Yep, it's nice, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my name on the Nalia Service model right here. Okay, I'm kind of freaking out and I'm kind of nervous, but I already wrote on the car. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks. Hopefully it doesn't look ugly because I'm gonna go ahead and show him in a bit. Okay, guys, this is the look. <laughs> Oh my god, I hope he likes it. I mean, it looks like it's just coming down. It looks like a little sticker. Uh...
So that's going to conclude today's video and I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And potato chips, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.